I do have a question. Do we get the new rewards at the end of this season, or is this season the old rewards, and then we start the new ones at the next season? I, hmm. it's possible. I haven't, it's, I haven't been able to figure that out yet. It's possible that the uh, we the some of the new reward cards will come in our at the end of the season uh, as like the the very start. I'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to start right after that or it'll be in our end of season uh, cards. I could see them, you know, releasing that into the mix before right before the end of the season, just mm -hmm. to kind of. You know, to get a little hype going the, at the start of the season for the, some of the new cards. That hype train. Um, but and we're ju we're train. just talking about the actual reward cards that they give out. Like they that right. could be something. This is still like the last season of the old way, but they could still like release those cards at at the end of the season for part of the rewards. You know, and yeah. then next season uh, we're starting the the new ranked reward changes. Um, this season, wherever you end up does is going to affect where what chess you go for for the first season um so you know the season is still important um or maybe the most important season there's ever been uh in that regard um but yeah i have uh, i i had a bunch of cards for rent and i actually you know had taken a bunch off and built up a couple other decks to play in the the other guilds that we started here nice. uh so i'm going to be grinding on three different accounts that's awesome man um you know and uh to to answer known's question here what are the effects of the upcoming changes less bots so this is going to be pretty interesting i think some of the big bot farms are still going to try to keep their old approach more or less at least for a season or two and try to get the lay of the land um you know, like they want to make sure it's broke before they fix it type idea, um, you know, and and partly because like, you know, if you have tens of thousands of accounts or more, you know, that that's you're committing, you know, if you're committing to build up those decks, you know, even with one BCX cards across the board, you know, I, I, I think that that's, a, you know, that that's not that's not nothing. Um, so. Uh, you know, I think, I think, you know, I, I think there's going to be, I think long, you know, so first season, who knows, there might not be a huge amount of change as far as numbers of accounts playing stuff like that. But I think as time goes on, I think, you know, the, the, either there's going to be some consolidation with these accounts where they, they play a lot less accounts and, um, build up you know some some pretty more competitive decks that at least get them up to like gold maybe you know i, I don't know i don't know how exactly this is all going to pan out but i i i just don't think there's going to be a lot of value um for for them to keep doing what they're doing especially when they're you know have released the 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 anti-bot software on um you know matchups and stuff of of accounts and win trading and yep. stuff like that so i feel like overall and it's it's going to be a huge as far as like it's going to affect the bots in that even if there's not less of them they're going to have to commit to buying assets which before they didn't have to do like there was over 200,000 bots that were not using, they were just using ghost cards and extracting DEC from our, the value from, from our game. Um, and so that's not going to be the case anymore. So how and they just can't play nonstop, right? Right, right. The, that's the other big thing is that like, really you have 30 battles a day. Yeah. Uh, so anything over that, because that was the big thing in my eyes is they could do things that I couldn't do right. as a human. Right, they can play all day, and I can't. Um, and and you know we've theorized the zero ECR bot. Now that could could be a thing as far as like you know gifting wins, but like that that hopefully will you know get picked up by um, you know the the software that's that you know that that doesn't let uh, people 
um, battle each other. So, you know, it, it's going to be a good start. Matt even said, like, this is just the beginning. Like, it's not going to be the end all be all. And ultimately, there is no end all be all. This is just like if you try to ban bots, which I mean, this game is not going to do. But if you do that, it becomes a cat and mouse game, right? Yeah. Well, even not banning bots, but just keeping them not exploiting the the game is still a cat and mouse game. So there's always going to be like make this move, and then they're going to make they're going to find this little exploit and hammer it because that's what you know you do with thousands of accounts. You find a, you find a little edge and you mm -hmm. just hammer it, and then so it's just going to be this constant back and forth and fine tuning of of the game but the the important thing is that with this release i i can say that splinterlands is committed to making the game fair and fun for humans and that you know they're not going to allow bots to continue to be able to do things that we can't so if you average over 30 battles you know the, those those your your daily ranked reward shares are going to take a hit because you're going to be um, you're going to start to drop on ECR over time. So um, it's going to be a, good, a lot of good changes, I think. And that the beautiful part is is they're fixing the bots and upgrading the ranked rewards. So all the players, you know, that have decks and that are playing are benefiting from these changes and they get new rewards and better and i mean everything is improving it's a it's a great a great solution i'm very impressed not going to be a complete overhaul if it was just going to be this little like a band-aid a little band-aid or a little like you know just a little show you know that Pony song and dance. What's that phrase? God damn, I'm so bad. I'm so fucking bad with so bad with phrase. Yeah, the show pony dance. Yeah, the that, show pony that, dance. You coming out with the show pony dance? Yeah, if you just come out Somebody with the show pony beat, dance. Please.